Good afternoon, everybody. I'm meteorologist Jesse Hawila giving an update on Hurricane Milton, which is just several hours away from making landfall on the Gulf Coast of Florida. Hurricane warnings extend across the entire peninsula, uh, at least at least from west to east. You go from Tampa, Sarasota, down to Fort Myers, and then all the way to the east coast of Florida. Still hurricane warnings in place, including Orlando. So Orlando will still see hurricane conditions overnight tonight as Milton begins to make landfall. And again, very powerful hurricane already bringing flooding rain uh, to parts of Florida. Also tornadoes too, which is very common with hurricanes. Uh, what you end up having is on these outer bands, a lot of really good wind shear. Obviously, there's a ton of instability in place. Those are just the ingredients you need for tornadoes, and we're seeing several reports of those already through Florida. Now, the latest on Milton currently a, it's, still a, it's a category three, and we anticipated that slight weakening before landfall. Just a little bit of drier air in the area, a little bit of wind shear, which actually hurts the hurricane just a bit. Still a very powerful storm, though. Winds 125 miles per hour with gust as high as 175. This is moving northeast at 17 miles per hour. And if you, you do the math here, it's 150 miles southwest of Tampa. So we're looking at about eight to nine hours uh, before landfall here. And right now it's just before four o'clock. So sometime in that 10 p.m. to midnight window, local Dallas time, add an hour for that for Florida. But between 10 p.m. and midnight is when Milton will officially make landfall. Tornado watch in place for, again, much of the state of Florida, from Miami up through Boca Raton, up through Tampa, Sarasota, Bradenton, Fort Myers, that whole area under a tornado watch. You can actually see the warnings. All these red polygons are tornado warnings that are in effect. And a lot of these are on the east coast of Florida. Again, very common occurrence with hurricanes, especially one this strong. You see these outer bands. They start moving from south to north. You have a lot of wind shear in place, a lot of instability, and we've seen numerous tornado reports already. So you, you all, not only do you have Milton uh, making landfall over the next several hours, but you have a, a bit of a tornado outbreak happening in the eastern part of the state and flooding going to become a huge concern. It's already it's been dumping rain across the state of Florida. You see big flash flood warnings in effect from Tampa into central Florida. And this does not include uh, this does not include Orlando at this time, but if we zoom in, you can actually see there's Kissimmee. So, you know, Disney World in this area here, tornado warnings just on the outskirts of Orlando, flash flood warnings as well. More tornado warnings from uh, for all the way up the co east coast here of Florida. Okeechobee just to the east of there, down to Boca Raton, more tornado warnings in that general vicinity. You can see several of them from uh, Palm Beach down to Boca Raton. That's the problem they're facing on the east coast of Florida. Obviously, the storm surge will be much higher on the west coast of Florida when Milton is making landfall. So right now, this is the very latest. Again, the, the forecast track, it's really remained the same for quite some time. It's, it's gone a little bit farther south. So right now, the best bet for landfall, again, that's going to be sometime between 10 p.m. and midnight central time, likely in the Sarasota area maybe a little bit farther south, but somewhere between Sarasota, Fort Myers, that's where the better chance to see landfall will be. Winds of 125 miles per hour. It's going to be a category three. We'll see winds still hurricane strength all the way through Orlando overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning, and it's likely to remain a hurricane as it re enters the Atlantic off the coast of Florida, which is remarkable that it just can blow through Florida and still maintain hurricane strength before it becomes post tropical and eventually kind of fizzles out in the central Atlantic. So that's the latest track again. Landfall coming up just before midnight Dallas time. Storm surge, a huge concern. Tampa Bay now because of the, the slightly southern jog in, in where the center of this is going. Tampa Bay's uh, storm surge has kind of gone down a little bit. It's still devastating storm surge. Eight to 12 feet is going to cause significant problems in Tampa Bay. However, that 10 to 15 mark has gone down too. That, that's moved farther down the coast. So from Sarasota, Fort Myers, kind of on that verge, anywhere from 10 to 15 feet of storm surge in that area. They've already been hit. If you remember two years ago, Hurricane Ian brought devastation to Fort Myers. You had Helene bring devastating storm surge to Fort Myers. And now, uh, now Milton is going to bring devastating storm surge to Fort Myers. So they've certainly had a very rough few years uh, with hurricanes here in the southwestern corner here of Florida. 
And then even on the backside of Milton, as it kind of goes back into the Atlantic, even up to Jacksonville, uh, they could see uh, several feet of storm surge in that area. Flooding, we're already seeing these rain totals climb quickly. There could be a foot to a foot and a half of rain across that yellow stripe across uh, areas like Tampa, all the way through even Orlando. I mean, Orlando's in the bullseye of this. So whether you know Orlando gets those strong winds, of course they, you know, they will. The flash flooding, a huge concern. Uh, in and around Disney World, all the other theme parks, it, there's going to be up to a foot to a foot and a half of rain, much less in the southern peninsula. But again, that stripe of very heavy rain rolling through. So again, just to recap, hurricane warnings in place for a vast majority of Florida outside of the peninsula, outside of the central part of the peninsula, you have tropical storm warnings. So tropical storm conditions still expected down in the Miami area, Tampa Bay area, it's hurricane. Uh, conditions Orlando it's hurricane conditions that will continue as Milton starts to approach landfall and again landfall is expected in about six to eight hours winds of 125 miles an hour with gust of 175 the motion again if you do the math quickly here so you know we're just before let's see it's it's 330 okay it's 150 miles southwest of Tampa it's moving northeast at 17 so that puts it at less than 10 hours away if it's stays due northeast head toward Tampa. So again, that gives you that eight to maybe nine hours from now uh, we'll have landfall. So uh, or sorry, seven to eight hours. That's the seven to eight hours is when we're expecting landfall there uh, somewhere between Tampa and Fort Myers. But again, tornado watch in effect for the southern half of Florida and the peninsula as tornadoes continue already being produced by some of the outer bands of Milton. Very dangerous storm, very serious situation setting up for not only the West Coast, because obviously that's where it's making landfall, but look at this, you zoom in a little bit, the eastern part of the peninsula. Now Orlando, parts of Orlando under tornado warnings right now, east of Kissimmee under tornado warnings. You go farther to the southeast along the coast from Sebastian to Fort Pierce, Palm City, east of Okeechobee, several tornado warnings there. And then you go down toward Boca Raton, a couple little supercells uh, from West Palm Beach, just northwest of Boca Raton. Those have tornado warnings on them. So really the entire state between the, the devastating storm surge on the west coast, the flooding rain, the flash floods, the tornadoes. Obviously Milton going to be a huge problem overnight to, uh, right now through the overnight and even into Thursday. Stick with us, WFAA, WFAA Plus. Make sure you download that on your smart TV, Roku, Fire, and Apple TV. We'll keep you updated all night.